Hello, I'm Louise Tryance from UK Recruiter. In the A to Z of successful recruiting in 2019, my letter is O, and I believe O stands for old school. Back in the 90s, things weren't any easier than now, and there were plenty of crappy recruiters, but you could still stand out. Now, I'm suggesting if you go old school, you can rock at recruitment, and here are my four tips. Number one, always give feedback to candidates. This has got to be the number one complaint job seekers have about recruiters. Don't get me wrong, I really hated giving negative feedback when I was a recruiter, and I probably cried more than the candidates, but I always did it. If you're not confident giving feedback, make an effort to perfect the art. If you have a client who doesn't know how to give you the feedback to pass on, then train them up too. Number two, tell the truth. What is it you're lying about? The salary the client will stretch to, the amount of overseas travel, the um, number of the candidates in the frame, how long the recruitment process is likely to take, whatever it is, please don't do it. Number three, return calls. Recruitment is a relationship business. Return calls to clients, to candidates, to possible candidates. Don't feel you have to do any of these during peak sales time, but please do call people back. I often hear recruiters say, if it's important, they'll call me back. Well, let's hope so. Tip number four is know your niche. Really, the number one tip for being a successful recruiter is to pick a niche and totally own it. I know this is a tip being shared by others in this video series, so watch out for those. Sadly, recruitment is a little bit more complicated than just grasping these simple rules. You must listen more than you speak, effectively sell, be a marketing guru, have tenacity, patience, compassion, empathy, the list goes on. However, it never does any harm to ensure you have the basics right, and that's why I've shared my tips. 